Oh, ladies, you won't believe how incredible my Wilder is. He's simply the best. Really, Juniper? Oh, tell us more! Yes, spill the tea, dear! Well, you see, he's the star of the school soccer team. Wilder's got this remarkable talent for sports, just like his father, Kai. That's wonderful, Juniper! He must get it from his dad, then! Soccer, you say? I hear it's quite the competitive sport. Indeed it is! And Wilder, my darling, is the best in his age group. He's even been scouted by some of the prestigious youth teams. Really? That's remarkable! You must be so proud, Juniper. Oh, I am! I truly am! And it's not just sports. He's quite the comedian at school as well. Always making people laugh, just like his mother, I suppose. You're quite the funny lady yourself, Juniper. <laughs> That's true, dear. You do have a fantastic sense of humor. Well, you know what they say. Laughter is the best medicine. But... Between us, his father and I are a bit concerned about his future. We want him to take over the family business one day. Yes, Juniper. Sometimes they surprise us by exceeding our expectations. I'm sure he'll find a balance, dear. Kids these days are quite talented. Thank you, ladies. You're right. Perhaps I'm just worrying too much. But you know how it is with parents, always wanting the best for their children. Juniper, I must say, that dress looks absolutely stunning on you. Oh, thank you so much, dear. It's one of my favorites. Yes, you look marvelous, Juniper. Ladies, I hope I'm not late for the party. Oh my, it seems we have similar tastes, Juniper. Yes, it seems we do. Well, you both look lovely in it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Great minds think alike, they say. Well, it's a lovely dress, isn't it? Indeed it is. But it's quite unfortunate that we're wearing the same one. Oh, how dreadful. I promise I didn't do it on purpose. Huh, of course not. Ladies, let's not let a dress ruin the party. Agreed. Let's enjoy ourselves. You know, I have something which will make your dress way prettier than mine! <gasps> Look what you made me do, Maria! Uh, you had it coming, Juniper! Uh, let go of my hair, Maria! Uh, please, please, let's not do this here! Stop it, you two! Oh no, we need to call someone right now! <laughs> Can you two stop that inferior giggling? Sorry, Mom. It's just... Yes, it's just that your feud with Maria is getting a little out of hand. Out of hand? She dared to copy my dress, Kai! And then that... that hair-pulling incident! Mom, it's like something out of a comedy show. Uh, but really, Juniper, can we just let this go? It's not worth all this anger. Kai, you don't understand! This is a matter of principle! Yeah, Mom. Principles like who will have better, and who can scream louder at a kitty party. You two just don't get it! My dignity was at stake! We get it, Juniper. But maybe it's time to bury the hatchet. Or bury the identical dresses. Oh! <laughs> Very funny. You both are a real riot! Oh, you guys are no help. Mom, wait. What is it, Wilder? I know this was a crazy day, Mom, but we're here for you. I just can't believe the nerve of that woman, Wilder. I'm so angry. I get it, Mom, but don't let it ruin your day. We'll find a way to make you smile. You always know how to make me feel better, my dear. That's because I'm your son, and I'm pretty awesome. Yes, you are, Wilder. Thank you for being there for me. Of course. Anything for my beautiful mother. <laughs> Natasha Williams? Present, sir. Wilder Kai? Uh, present. Wilder, your voice sounds different today. Uh, um, yeah, I have a little bit of a cold. 
<coughs> Very well. Zara Khan? Present, sir. Hmm. That's it for today. Wait, Wilder, you're wearing a different jacket today. That's unusual. Uh, um, it's just I borrowed it from someone else because I was cold and I forgot mine at home. Yeah. Matthew, this isn't your class. What are you doing here? And why did you lie to me? <laughs> I, 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 I got lost on my way to class, sir. And you decided to sit here and wear someone else's jacket? I, 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 I didn't know what else to do, sir. Where's Wilder? Did he give you his jacket? No, he's... He's playing sports today, sir. He asked me to take his class and not tell anyone that he's gone for training. Playing sports during class hours? Unbelievable! Zara, did you know about this? No, sir. I had no idea. <sighs> All right, Matthew. You can stay for this class, but return Wilder's jacket to him after work. <sighs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll need to have a word with this guy. Oh, hey there, Teach. Don't hey there, Teach me. You should be in my class right now, not playing football. Well, I figured football is more educational than your class. That's it! You've skipped my class for the last time. You think this is a joke, Wilder? Education is important, and you can't just skip class whenever you please. Well, Teach, I learned plenty of important life skills on the football field, like teamwork, discipline, and how to score a goal, which is more than I could say for your class. That attitude of yours is unacceptable, young man! Unacceptable to you, maybe, but to the rest of the world, it's called confidence. You're insufferable, Wilder! I've had enough of your antics. I'm sending you to the principal's office. Go ahead, Teach. Maybe the principal can teach me how to escape boring classes. Oh. <laughs> Almost got you there, Teach. <laughs> You're impossible, Wilder. Oh, you little. Mr. Kai, do you find this situation amusing? Not really, sir. I mean, I am enjoying this delicious apple, but your mood seems rather sour. What's bothering you? You! Your continuous disregard for rules and your disrespectful behavior towards teachers. Me? Disrespectful? That's a bit harsh, don't you think? <sighs> Look, Wilder, I don't want to escalate this further. Can we just find a way to resolve this peacefully? Well, you see, sir, I've been thinking. I could probably help you with that issue you're having. <laughs> How so? Let's just say, I have a way of making problems disappear. All I need is a little... cooperation. What kind of cooperation are you talking about? Simple. I want you to do something for me. Something that would make this whole situation more... manageable. I'll do whatever it takes! Just tell me what you want! Excellent! You see the teacher who's been giving me a hard time? I want them gone. Fired. Out of the picture. Uh. That's a serious request, Wilder. I can't just... In... Uh, uh uh Think carefully, sir. This is your chance to avoid any further unpleasantness. Also, you're forgetting that you're talking to Wilder Kai, the son of one of the major companies in the town. Also one of your best sports player. You see all those trophies at the back? Don't forget that you got them all because of me and my team's cooperation. Now, do as I say or else. Fine. I'll see what I can do about that teacher. Just... please. No more trouble. That's the spirit, sir. You won't regret this. May I leave now? Sure. Okay. Ciao. Ugh. This is not good. Yeah. Girls, the botany test tomorrow is a big deal. It's a major part of our grade, and I'm really worried. Don't worry, Zara. You've been studying hard, and you're super smart. You'll do great. Have you heard of anything about what's going to be on the test? Any hints from the teacher? 
Well, my parents did mention something about the test being important. They've been pushing me to do well. Besides, you guys already know how much of a disciplinarian my dad is. And my mom? Oh gosh, don't even ask. That's good, Zara. It means they care about your education, right? I guess so. What kind of plants are going to be tested on? I hope it's not those complicated ones. I'm not sure, but I heard it might be a mix of different topics. I'll try to get more details from the teacher tomorrow. What a neat test, huh? That could be interesting. Okay, so we have two more chapters remaining. We have to discuss about prokaryotes and a cellular life. Um, hey guys, I'm really sorry, but it's getting super noisy outside. I'll just close my windows for a sec to reduce the noise. No problem, Zara. Take your time. Yeah, we'll wait for you. Seriously? Zara, is everything okay? It's that guy from next door, Wilder. He's blasting music and making a racket. That's so annoying. Can you ask him to turn it down? I doubt he'd listen. He's always like this. Oh, uh, listen, um, I don't think we can focus like this. Zara, it's better if we just do self preparation. Yeah, the music is getting too loud anyway. We're so sorry, Zara. We'll see you tomorrow at school. Wait, girls! This little piece of freak! I'm going to kill him! Zara, where are you going? Are you going to leave the house forever? No, I'm not, but I can't take this anymore! Ah! Oh my god, isn't that Zara? What is she doing here? Well, well, well. If it isn't our shy little neighbor. What brings you here, Zara? Oh, just a casual visit to the noisiest house on the block. I thought I'd check out your little music festival. <laughs> music festival? That's a good one, Zara. Zara's really giving it to him. I can't believe she's actually talking back. Builder, you've been disturbing my study session and I've had enough of your stupid music and noise. Well... Sorry to interrupt your thrilling botany studies, but maybe you could use some excitement in your life. You don't get it, do you? This isn't about botany, this is about respect. Oh, respect? Sorry, I left that at the door when I came to this party. And for the record, this is what you get after what your family did to mine. This isn't fair, Wilder. It wasn't my fault what my family did to your mother. Well, this was my revenge, Zara. Just a little tease of what you made my family go through. Revenge? You're publicly humiliating me and now they are all laughing at me! How is this some sort of revenge? Oh, poor Zara. Can't take a joke. What a surprise. You know what? You should just run to your mummy. Hmm. Maybe not, because she only knows how to pull people's hair. I'm going home. That got dark real quick. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Hmm, what could she be? Hey, excuse me! Oh, hey, Walter. Hey, uh, do you know where your friend Zara is? Oh, she was just here a moment ago, but I'm sure she's in the library. Why? Uh, nothing. Thanks for letting me know. Bye! What are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. You vanished yesterday. I was studying, which is something I should be doing right now. You know, you look pretty even without makeup. What? Why are you... <sighs> you know what? Never mind. I should probably leave now since this must be one of your silly little plans. Hey, relax. I'm not here to do anything wrong. Let go of my hand. 
<laughs> Whoa, slow down. I'm not trying to steal your purse or something. Just wanted to talk. Talk about what? About what happened at the party. I want to apologize sincerely. Apology accepted. Now let go of my hand. You're still mad, huh? Yes, I am. You embarrassed me in front of everyone. I'm really sorry, Zara. I shouldn't have done that. Well, you did. And it hurt. I know. And I feel bad about it. Can we start over? Fine. But no more pranks, okay? You know, it's funny to think how we've been neighbors for years, but never got to speak to each other. I can probably guess why. Our families definitely don't like each other. I still feel bad for what my mom did to your mother. To be very honest, what your mom was cool. At least now she's always double-checking her dresses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you heard about the new movie that's coming out in cinemas tomorrow night? Oh yeah, the one by Coxo Sparkle. I've already got tickets for it. I'm definitely not missing that show. Wow, you're so lucky. What's with the sad tone? Are you not joining? I wish I did, but no. What? Why not? Are the tickets out, or...? I just have a very conservative family. I can probably talk to my mom about anything but my dad. He's the most strict person I've ever seen in my life. He's the one person who wakes up at exactly 6.02 a.m. in the morning, does his exercises at exactly 7.10, and goes straight to work by 7.55 a.m. Whoa, he does sound like such a disciplined man. He really is, and I know he'd never allow me to go to such places. Oh well, sucks to be you then. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Mom, stop banging the pan! It's time to wake up, sleepyhead! Seriously, Mom, it's annoying! Oh well, Miss Grumpy. It seems like someone has left a surprise for you. Surprise? Can't it wait until I've had my beauty sleep? Oh no, this surprise can't wait! It's a parcel with your name on it! A parcel? For me, but who sent it? That's the mystery, sweetheart. It was just left at the door with your name on it. Really? That's strange. Movie tickets? So, what is it? Oh, is it another traditional Pakistani suit? Uh, show me, show me! Um, no, Mom. Of course not. It's just another study note given by Natasha. Ah, uh, okay. Oh well, breakfast will be prepared within a few minutes. I should probably check up on your dad. Hey, Zara. I hope you like the surprise. I thought it would be fun if we went to the movies tonight. Talk to your dad about it and let me know. You only live once, right? Live it all. Oh my gosh, this is amazing! Oh wait, oh no, how am I supposed to ask dad for permission? There's no way he's going to allow me to go to the movies. <sighs> you only live once, Zara. So live it all. You can do it. Dad, may I come in? <clears throat> Dad! Yes, yeah, Sarah, what is it? Well, I wanted to talk to you about something. Make it quick, I'm in the middle of my morning routine. Dad, there's this movie showing tonight, and I was wondering if I can go with my friends. No. But Dad, it's just a movie, and I promise to be back on time. Zara, I said no. Dad? You know I've been working really hard at school, and I've been responsible. I think I deserve a break, just this once? Zara, you know I worry about you. It's not safe to be out late. I understand, Dad. That's why I'm only going with my female friends, and we'll make sure to be home before 10 p.m. Hmm. Before 10 p.m., you say? Yes, Dad. I promise we'll be back by then. All right, Zara. But you must keep your promise. Be back by 10 p.m. sharp. Thank you, Dad! You won't regret it, I promise! All right, all right, just go have a good time. But remember, you're responsible for keeping that promise. I will, Dad. Thank you so much!
Zara, I had an incredible time tonight. Me too, Wilder. I didn't expect it to be this amazing. Zara, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? Zara, I really like you. I mean, I'm more than like you. I think I might be falling for you. Wilder. I know our families don't get along, but I can't help how I feel. Zara, will you be my girlfriend? I don't know, Wilder. Our families. I don't care about our families, Zara. I care about us. I care about us. About you and me. We can keep it a secret, and no one needs to know. It's just... I never thought this would happen. But yes, Wilder, I'll be your girlfriend. Really? You won't regret this, I promise. I know I will never regret it. I trust you very much, Wilder. And I love you so much. You've certainly made me realize what true love is. You encouraged me for something which nobody was able to do for me for all these years. I can't thank you any less. Thank you so much for being here for me. I'll always be here for you, Zara. I love you so much too. I better get home now. It's almost 10 p.m. Yeah, you're right. But remember, you're my girlfriend now, and I'm not letting you go. <laughs> Hey there, champ. I saw you with that girl outside. Who is she? Um, what girl, Dad? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, come on! Don't act as if you weren't on a date with her. Come on, tell me her name. Um, Dad, you may not like it, but her name's Zara Khan. She's Ryan Khan's daughter. <sighs> Rayon Khan's daughter? Are you serious, Wilder? <sighs> yeah, Dad. I know it's complicated because of our families, but I can't help how I feel about her. I really care about her, Dad. Well, son, I won't lie. I'm a bit shocked. But if you really love her, that's what matters most. Love knows no boundaries. Thanks, Dad. I knew you would understand. <laughs> but you need to talk to your mom about this. You know how she feels about the cons. Yeah, I was hoping you could help me with that. I will, son. I'll talk to her, and we'll figure this out together. Just remember, I've got your back. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. You've got this, son. I'm here for you. Oh my god. I almost panicked when I saw my dad found out about us. I mean, it's just the beginning, right? And we're already half caught. Oh, well, how did you react to it? He was definitely a little disappointed at first, but my dad has always been the fun one. He's cool with it. That's a relief. I was worried there for a second. Who is she talking to so late at this hour? Zara, who are you talking to at this hour? Give me that. Let's see who's keeping my daughter up at night. Mom, it's just... Who is this wilder boy? Are you talking to him at this time of the night? Mom, it's not what you think. Not what I think? Explain this, Zara! Zara, you know our family's history with the Kais. What were you thinking? Mom, it's just... I really care about him. Well, if you're so serious about this, you have two choices. Either you run away with him, or I'll invite him to our house for a proposal. Mom, you can't be serious! I'm dead serious, Zara. I won't let you make the same mistakes I did. Now go to sleep. We'll discuss this more in the morning. Wait. What do you mean by the same mistake, Mom? <sighs> it's a long story. You see, when I was your age, I fell in love with this guy. I can't say his name, but he also suggested me to run away with him. But at that time, I cared too much about my family's reputation, and I married your father instead. I'm not regretting my decision, but I wonder every now and then how my life would have be if I had taken the opportunity. I don't want you to kill your happiness for our reputation. You have a life to live. Either you need to tell this guy to come over, or just run away with him. And if you do, don't get too worried about me and your dad. I'll make sure to handle everything. I care about my daughter's happiness more than anything in this world. I love you so much, Ma. 
But I promise you, I will never do anything to let you guys down. I'll make everything right. Just believe in me. Sara, everything is set. Your father is eager to meet your friend, but he doesn't know it's why there. Mom, I hope this goes smoothly. Hello, Zara. I brought these for your family. Thanks, Wilder. Just be prepared. My dad can be a bit... intense. Zara, where's your friend? I've been waiting. Dad! Meet Wilder Kai. Wilder, this is my dad, Ryan Khan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Khan. Kai? Are you from the Kai family? Yes, sir. My family owns the Synapse Company. Synapse, huh? Quite the impressive family, I see. Ryan, let's be polite. He's our guest. I'll decide how to handle this, Maria. You stay out of it. Dad, let's all sit down for dinner. That will not be necessary. What do you think you're doing here, huh? I love your daughter. I love Zara. And I want to spend my life with her. I just wanted to tell you that. That's all. Oh, you love my daughter, do you? And what do your parents think about this little love affair? My parents are aware, and they respect my decisions. Well, isn't that cute? A teenage romance. What do you even know about love? I know enough to know that I want to spend the rest of my life with Zara. <gasps> Honey! Dad, why would you do that? Listen here, young man. I've already chosen a suitable boy for Zara, and she will marry him. Your presence here is not welcome. Chosen a boy for her? You can't force her into a marriage she doesn't want. I'm her father and I will do what I think is best for her future. Dad, you can't decide my future like this! I won't marry someone I don't love! You will do as I say, Zara Khan. My decision is final. Your decisions? You're a controlling, egotistical man who thinks he can dictate everyone's lives. I won't stand for it! Get out of my house, you disrespectful brat! No, Wilder, wait! Wilder, please stop! Please! <laughs> Zara! You need to make a decision now. It's either you run away with me, or marry the guy your dad chose for you. I can't believe it has come to this. Please, don't leave me like this. I had no idea about all of this. Just please. You have three days to make your decision, Zora, or else don't contact me anymore. Don't go. Hey, Wilder, can we talk? Wilder, we need to sort things out. Please, just talk to me. Please, Wilder, I can't go through with this wedding. I love you. Zara, do you accept this man as your lawfully wedded husband? I... I can't. I'm already married to someone else. What do you mean, Zara? Who is it? It's him. I'm married to Wilder. You! How dare you! Mr. Khan. I love your daughter. We got married because we couldn't stay apart. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's all take a moment. No! This can't be! You need to break your marriage with him right now, Zara! Are you kidding me? No, father! I won't end my marriage with him! I love him and I won't let you control my life any longer! Zara, please, you don't understand. We've made our decisions, Mr. Khan. We won't let anyone stand in our way. I've spent my entire life doing what you and Mom wanted, Dad. You've always dictated every aspect of my life, from what I studied, to whom I married. But I won't let you make this decision for me. Not this time. Zara, it's not that simple. You don't know what you're getting into. I know exactly what I'm getting into, Dad. I'm choosing love over your control. 
I won't let you ruin my happiness. I happily accept him as my husband. I don't care what you and others say, Dad. Let's go, love. Maybe it's time we let her make her own choices.